Police! Hands in the air. Now turn around slowly. Hello again. You. What are you doing here? Would you believe me if I told you I was the fire inspector? That depends. Would you believe me if I told you this gun was loaded with paintballs? Well, this is a new shirt. I don't think I'll take my chances. Good idea. Can I at least put my hands down? Sure. Put them on the table where I can see them. You mind pointing that gun somewhere else? Your hands look a little unsteady. Oh, they're steady enough. For you, maybe. I don't think I'd come any closer. Wouldn't shoot me now. Messy. You really think that your finger can stop the bullet? I'm pretty fierce. I'm sure you are. You know, this really isn't necessary, officer. Detective. Cooper. Detective? Impressive. And you're Cyrus Foley. Do I know you? Interpol sent over your resume. It's pretty impressive. You're practically a legend. Regular Clyde Barrow. Bonnie and Clyde, right? I always liked that film. Didn't end so well for him. Oh, I don't know. They go down in a hail of bullets. There are worse ways to go. Like what? Rotting in prison. I won't go back. You say that like you have a choice. <laughs> There's always a choice. As long as you're willing to get paintballs on your new shirt. How do you feel about handcuffs, Cyrus? Oh, they're not really my thing, but... You're under arrest. For what? Oh, robbing a jewellery store? And I just caught you in the act, breaking and entering. No, 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 I'm a guest. My friend Dee Dee, uh, excuse me, Dinah Marla, lives here. I was just leaving her a note. Oh, you were writing it with that piece of jewellery then. Oh, you're clever. What's your first name, detective? I don't see why that matters. Then why not tell me? Marina. Marina? <laughs> I like that. I'm ready for my handcuffs now, Marina. Come on, look. This one belonged to you? What is this? I caught him in your room. He was going through Dinah's stuff. I wasn't doing anything hey, that... that right to remain silent? I was taking him down to the station and we saw you guys in the parking lot. He won't shut up about knowing Dinah, so I brought him up. You know this guy? I don't think so. I know this guy. You do? Yeah, it's our friend. Cyrus Foley just got out of prison, wanted for crimes in three continents. Suspected of, not wanted for. Mm -hmm. Interpol sent us his file. Wow, Marina, good job. Take him down to the station. Cyrus. Cyrus. I can't believe it. I, I didn't recognize you. Come here, you nut. It's been years. Ages. Don't mess this up for me. I can't believe you're here. I'm here. I mean, it's been so long. I, I, it took me a second. You are. I changed my hair. Oh, that's it. That'll be it. That's it. <laughs> How well do you know this guy? Very, very well. Uh, well, not like that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Come on in. He means we were partners. In crime. Great. Ages ago? Yeah, ages. So you've said. We knew each other in Europe when I was on the run before I was arrested. Mallet knows all about that. Mallet? We haven't been properly introduced. This is my boyfriend, Mallet. Oh, I, I'd shake your hand, but keep it cuffed. All right, then. Mallet has helped me turn my life around, and I have been on the right side of the law ever since. I have been there, and I am planning to stay there. It's a shame, really. Someone with your kind of talent just walking away. Guess that's the kind of talk we like to hear from international criminals. Especially people straight out of prison. Mal, it's a detective. He's very good at what he does, Cyrus. Yeah. And she is my police partner. Ah, your partners, we're partners. We're partners. Yeah, these are chafing. Don't want cuffs? Don't steal things. Well, I'm here more as a guest now, aren't I? Cyrus, you know what? Let's get to the point. Right. Well, what I was saying about Dee Dee, sorry, 
Diana, it was more out of professional respect. You know, I won't make a run for it. I'm sure she's told you how good she was. No, I didn't. I wasn't that good. Hey. The smiley face. Mm -hmm. What about the smiley face? You don't remember that, that evil smiley face that we saw? The one that was on Dinah's file, I found one at the store. Yeah, right, when her bank account was hacked. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Nobody said you did. Yet. Okay, right. Okay, so... Tell me, uh, Cletus. Oh, I mean... Cyrus. What are you doing here? Well, can we get rid of these cuffs first? No, no, no. What is it you want from here? Your girlfriend. You do realize, my little traveling friend, that you are not exactly in a position of power. Yeah, I'm getting that. But yet you seem to be here trying to start something. You misunderstood. I, I want the help that your girlfriend can provide me with. What kind of help? Please, I'm harmless and handless. Yeah, I'm really getting tired of hearing yeah, that. Yeah, me now. too. Just go ahead. Ah, thank you, Marina. Detective. A detective, Marina. I hope this doesn't ruin my piano career. So what exactly the, the kind of help you need you're looking for from my girlfriend, Dinah? Well, like any bloke just out of the pen, I want to clean up my life. Walk the straight and narrow, like Dinah. But, you know, opportunities are scarce for someone like me, so I thought that maybe... Wow. Now that's what you wear on a wrist. It's a gift from Mallet. Good work, man. Yeah, I'm good like that. So, you were saying? Well, Dinah's got herself this fine job at the local television station. I caught your show, loved it. And I would love the opportunity to be a part of it. They're not hiring cutbacks. Did you? You didn't mention anything about cutbacks. I have a job for you. You do? Yeah. A uh, tiny window of opportunity, though, so we should really get rolling on it before someone snatches it up. If you guys are finished here... Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Great. We'll go. Unless you're not serious about seeking lawful employment. I'm looking forward to it. Great. You look fantastic. And you are admirably tall. Tick-tock. Sorry. Right. Lead the way, detective. Wow. Talk about a surprise. Yeah, we could talk about a surprise. But I don't think it was a surprise. Not for you, anyway. Ah. Thought so. I thought this was about a job. It is. We're at the police station. We are. You're still arresting me. I'm not. <laughs> I can't be working here. Why not? Because I am, I was a felon. Well, that's okay. We take all kinds. I'm going to need you to do a sweep of the place. I suppose I could do that. I'll need some equipment to find the listening devices. Oh, I've got your equipment. Janitor quit last week? You said you wanted a job, and you wanted to clean up your life? Well, I didn't mean literally clean. Hey, two birds, one stone, and there's a bonus. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You'll be surrounded by cops all the time. What better way to... Keep on the straight and narrow, you know? No way of falling into your old habits, breaking and entering, grand theft. Am I missing something? Nope. Trash bags. Trash bags are in the closet. Hey! Gotta roll up your sleeves, really put some muscle into it. 